Good day and welcome to Mission Control Houston, where an expert team of flight controllers is watching over the systems aboard the International Space Station as the Expedition 34 crew continues through its busy day of primarily scientific research, but with some uh, routine maintenance thrown into the mix. On board, uh, Commander Kevin Ford continues his work with fellow NASA astronaut Tom Marshburn and uh, Canadian Space Agency astronaut Chris Hadfield, along with Russian cosmonauts Roman Romanenko, Evgeny Tarelkin, and Oleg Novitsky. Today, the crew is working on experiments that study how liquids and magnetic suspended solids might be used as smart fluids for mechanical systems like brakes and earthquake protection devices. They're also looking at a student experiment that lets middle schoolers guide a digital camera for photos of the Earth below, and another educational activity to let Japanese students vote for and suggest physical tasks for astronauts to demonstrate on orbit that show the difference between microgravity and one gravity of Earth. Kevin Ford tightened down some set screws on the amine swing bed experiment today to try to improve its functionality. Researchers are evaluating how well the experimental vacuum register generated amine system can effectively remove carbon dioxide uh, looking toward future space vehicles. So far they've had some resistance to an important valve moving completely. The hope was that adjusting the set screws would allow the valve to move freely, but early results show the adjustment didn't solve the issue. Ford also uh, did some transfer work of recycled water from the water recovery system to use on the station and collected trash to go in the Progress 49 spacecraft before it departs on February the 9th. Chris Hadfield worked with the colloid experiment that works with solids suspended in fluids. It's called the Investigating the Structure of Paramagnetic Aggregates from Colloidal Emulsions 3 or In Space 3 experiment. Researchers at the University of Delaware are obtaining data on magnetorheological fluids, uh, those that change properties in response to magnetic fields. Tom Marshburn worked with the setup and activation of the ISERV investigation. That's a joint NASA and U.S. aid program to document Earth disasters from the station's unique location on orbit. He also worked to do some uh, experiment demonstrations for the Japanese Tri-Zero-G experiment and took measurements of noise levels in the complex with the sound level meter. Meanwhile, the Russians, uh, Novitsky, Torelkin, and Romanenko also worked on a variety of experiments as well as station maintenance activities. Romanenko worked on uh, packing Progress 49 for its departure and on an experiment that looks at how the heart and bloodstream are affected by life in space. Torelkin worked uh, with the relaxation experiment that makes ultraviolet spectrometer observations of uh, the chemiluminescent reactions uh, in the xenon plasma outside the space station from firings of two plasma contactor units. He talked with experts in Moscow about the installation of data gathering equipment for that experiment. Novitsky worked on uh, routine maintenance in the Zarya cargo module, the first module to launch to the space station, and uh, did some Russian life support system maintenance. Meanwhile, outside the space station, the robotics flight controllers in Houston, uh, backed up by their Canadian counterparts near Montreal and St. Hubert, have been used in Canada Arm 2 and the Dexter Fine Manipulator System throughout the week to move spare equipment replacement units around. A slow but uh, deliberate work by the uh, Robos this week so far has moved a failed main bus switching unit from its temporary stowage location on external storage platform 2, uh, which is outside the Quest airlock, over to external logistics carrier 2 on the starboard truss, and a transfer of a cargo transport container from external logistics carrier 2 over to Dexter's temporary equipment holder. Later today, they're going to be moving a direct current switching unit component electrical system from external storage platform 2 to external logistics carrier 2. And then tomorrow, they'll stow Dexter on its mobile serving sink system that runs up and down the railway along the length of the truss structure so that the robot arm can reach any component it needs to be uh, used to help maintain.